In this tutorial we're going to take a look at railing extension styles in Revit architecture. Here's a basic stair I've just created and it's got a railing on each side. What we're interested in doing is getting this top rail to oversail by a predetermined amount uh, both at the base of the stair and or at the top of the stair. To do so what we need to do is select the top rail only. Now if you watch carefully if I hover over my with my cursor over the whole railing I can select the entire railing and I can see its type in the properties palette. I can edit type in which case I get all the parameters for the railing itself but in order to extend this top rail over the end of the the, uh, the railing generally I need to single out just the top rail itself so if I hover carefully with my cursor over the top rail and I use the tab key and I'm just going to hit the tab key once hopefully you can make out on the screen that just the top rail itself is now highlighted if I click my mouse button now to select and we look at the properties palette we can see this is the top rail only so this is a family a system family nested inside the whole railing family so once I've picked out just the top rail I can now hit edit type and I can see the type parameters for just the top rail only. If we look down the list of parameters available we'll see a couple of groups here extension at the beginning and bottom and extension at the end and top. So let's just deal with the, the bottom first. Extension style set to none at the moment hence if I just move that out of the way slightly the top rail ends when the the overall railing ends which is at the base of the stair. If I in fact, I'll just shrink that a little bit you'll be able to see the effect as we go through these. Extension style if I change that to wall and hit apply first of all it doesn't do anything and that's because although we've changed the extension style the length of that style is zero so let's use 300 millimeters in each case and apply that. You can now see for the extension style wall the top rail comes down and it extends by 300 millimeters horizontally in line with the railing. Let's go through each of these. If I go to floor and apply that just going to come out of there for a second just lift that up so you can see it more clearly let's go back in to the type parameters so you can see this extension style extends by the 300 mil and then drops vertically down to the floor and finally we've got one called post and apply that and this returns back to the last upright The next group extension end and top exactly the same the same extension style options the same length overrun it just applies it to the top of the the railing if you need to the only other thing to consider down here we've got termination options for this over sale so let's say for example we put this back to the floor apply that beginning and bottom terminations set to none at the moment if we put it to standard and apply it just puts a little fixing pad to the end of the top rail as it hits the floor again we could create a custom family and load that in instead with our own fixing brackets just before we finish this tutorial there's one more parameter to look at there at the base extension beginning and top group so we've set the extension style, 
we've set the length of the overrun we've got this plus tread depth parameter simple tick box if I tick it and apply it simply adds a length before it forms the, the 300 horizontal overrun by the distance of a tread at the base so depending on your building or construction regulations um, you can adjust these parameter values accordingly to get these handrails to terminate exactly as you need them to. Many more tutorials and articles on Autodesk Revit architecture can be found at bimscape.com. Once at the home page, just navigate to Articles, Autodesk Revit.